say I'm coming with this video here. You can have a black and white photo, but then you want to revive the colors. You want a colored photo. Maybe you want to use it for a poster or something. Normally, black and white photos are very not so difficult to retrieve. But then, changing a colored photo to a black and white photo is very easy. But then, changing the black and white to a colored photo, that is another story. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you revive all this. So here we go. Okay, this is our black and white photo. And now, what you have to do is just create a, a transparent layer. And just choose a brush and then choose our color. I may use this color, looks to be good. Then just brush over, make sure that you resize the brush. I know it's looking very weird right now, but this is going to be a little good. All right, so here we go. Just make sure that the ink doesn't go outside the subject. Then brush the skin color, just the skin. Okay. And then just choose uh, the blending mode. You can see how the blending mode works here, but I'm going to go for color. Choose the blending mode to color. And then just continue and now you can see that the photo is looking a little good then just brush and brush and brush okay use a rubber of course to rub the, the ink that appears to be out of the subject and then for the eyes I'm uh, just reduce the opacity of the rubber then brush over the eyes, the nose, then the lips, of course. Oh. There it is, there it is. And then for the beards, the black needs to appear. Also, good. So I'm remaining with the ears here. The ears. I'm going to resize my brush and then brush over. So this is really easy as you see. Okay, now you're done with the... Okay, sorry. Let me brush over here. Okay, good. Now you can see the previous one. And then what you've done so far. Okay, done. This is done now. Now create another transparent layer. Then we're going to fix the shot now. It is black and white, so we choose the color for the shot. And then just brush over like we did the first time. Okay, you can as well choose the blending board first, but then it's all the same, right? So I'm gonna go with this one looks to be maroon or red I don't know so just brush it over very neatly very neatly the reason as to why we are not brushing over the background is because brushing using a, brushing using a transparent layer gives you control over the colors you can choose the blending mode you can change the colors and easily rub you can do other overlays as well. So I'm gonna leave the suspenders to be black, and of course the the buttons also to be black. So just brush and brush and brush. This is really very easy. So guys, I have a. Very, very many videos there you can go and check after this tutorial and if you're liking the video as well be sure to leave a like give out a comment on your opinion as well so 
yeah in case you want a video to be done just comment the type of video you need for the so we grow together all right so the buttons are looking good i'm gonna go to this other side and then brush again okay 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 here we go here we go here we go And my next video is going to be on, uh, I want to tell you something about uh, this frequency separation that people have been talking about. People are using, very many people are using this frequency separation. But I don't like it. So I'm going to tell you why. Uh, that's a, a, a story for another video. I don't want to ruin the moment right now. Okay, so here we go, and almost done, almost done. Okay, this black and white photo, it's not just about brushing over, you have to really blend in the, in the colors very well, because you see my face is looking a little, not even a little, it's too yellow, like it's not real. And the shirt also looks to be too too dull, too faded. So this is the first, this is the second, and this is the process. Okay, now we're back to fixing things. Let's go to saturation and see how saturation works. Not working. Let's go to selecting the face. That is actually selecting the parts that we brushed using the, the, the skin color. So I'm just going to play with the hue and see what works well. And then after that you go again and select it and use, uh, use the curves and find what best works for the skin. I'm gonna go with that so you see yeah right that's all right and then hmm let's go and match the layers see see the difference it looks a little minimal so the next thing is select the shot then we do the same but this time round for the shot I'm gonna go for color balance We'll go for color balance, then balance the reds, then we'll balance the, the yellows and the green. Just use the mid tones, mid tones will be okay. You can see now the shirt is really good. I'm we'll gonna go again and just repeat the same for the face. Uh huh. And now my face looks real. So this, okay, for the suspenders will be black, for the trouser will be black, and so this is it. Let me try and match these other layers apart from the background. Mm -hmm. Well, that's terrible. So what you do, just match all the layers. You can click on the background and just flatten. Then this is our final photo. We did it. No, so I this is the process how we went and that's it just to save it there it is thank you so much for watching this video hit a like of course the notification and subscribe so you get more videos like this one in my channel and of course down in the description there are some other videos i'll put a link so you just Click on the videos and watch more on Photoshop. See you next time.